Um, hey, Sarah. Um, nice start here. Um, I like how you have some of the roads blocked in and you've got the Thames River and so on. Um, so just a few suggestions. You're off to, because you're off to a good start with your icons. Um, so what I would suggest is, um, you know, really working on this legend. It, it seems pretty empty. I mean, there's a lot of negative space here. Um, I would also put the rounded rectangles in the legend around the um, objects and and then you can make them keep them kind of small here but on the map I would make them a lot bigger bigger um, um yeah I see you don't have them really grouped so so again I would make them bigger um you know if you hold the shift key down it'll constrain the proportions and then you can just drag it bigger I would also make the stroke a little bit bigger around them, so I would do something like this. Um, you know, then again, then you have to find where the bed thing is and then make that bigger too since you don't have them grouped together. Um, so again, something like that. Um, and also just, just tidy things up a bit with that. Um, so then if you have something like this um, in the legend, you can make it small and then this could be a lot bigger. This should still be bigger because, you know, look at all this negative space. I would probably even cut some of this map off because this whole area is empty. You don't want to have wasted space um, in the design. So um, again, maybe even make them a little bigger then, you know, something like that. Um, and again, you have to, you know, move the bed over and make it bigger as well. Um, so again, that'll, because, because, you know, what needs to happen is there needs to um, just be some, um, you know, attention getting um, elements. And since these are black and white, they're kind of bland. You might want to, you know, you might want to spend a little bit more time with them. Um, I have a sense, it seems like this was a little bit rushed to me, but um, I'm not sure. I mean, usually I can see how much time people spend by just looking at the, um, yeah, I can't really tell, um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so that would be my suggestion. I mean, you could make the tree green and so on. I would make, um, um, you know, some of this text lighter. Like if you're going to like this Thames River, I wouldn't use black. I think if you used a lighter color, it would stand out. Or, or if you want to use black, make the blue lighter. You need it just needs contrast. Um, so if you have the type in the legend, you don't need to have it again. So this this whole thing could be in the legend, um, or this too. Um, you know, the St. James Park Lake or whatever. And so you have that in the legend. Then you don't have to repeat the text here because you can't really see it anywhere anyway. Because look at you know, it's hard to read text over these um, street um, graphics, okay? Another thing you're missing is um, um, the city name. So I would really suggest having a look at what was posted last week. Um, and again, because these are pretty good examples of what, what high-level um, um, projects look like. City name, bigger, th this is bigger than um, um, the state name. So, and again, this is my YouTube, this is my video about, um, you know, just kind of clarifying what the ex expectations are. You can see here, um, again, this is the problem with the text. If you have a middle value text on a middle value background, you just can't see it. It's not, it's, you know, um, it's, there's not enough contrast. So again, I would have a look at some of these so you can really see what's, expected and again look at these legends how nice and clean and neat they look everything's aligned um, it just doesn't look like you spent the enough time on it um, which I understand everybody's busy so you might want to work on this I mean you could put I mean since you have all this negative space you could put put the the city name up here and you know make another little box or something and put it up here so it doesn't you can um, read it better but Overall needs more color and needs more interest. And also, if you're going to do London, you've got to have the London eye. Unfortunately, you can't, you know, you've got to have Big Ben. There's certain things you just have to, you have to include in London because, um, you know, that's what it's known for. Uh, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to create a portfolio piece that didn't have the main attractions. They would just think that you didn't do your home, your research right. And another thing for the subway, you might want to um, even go find the logo for the tube and, and put that in there, you know, trace that. That would also work. Okay, so I would I would highly suggest if you get a chance to to work on this some more and repost it into, into the same Dropbox because you're going to need to do it for week eight anyhow. 
um, and you'll pick up some more points and, um, and it'll just move you closer to a portfolio piece. Okay, so let me know if you have questions. I'm on Google Hangouts all the time, so just grab me, okay?